I recently saw a post that really got me thinking. On average, if we're lucky, we only have 75 summers in our lives. I know we all hear the saying, live every day to the fullest, but when you really think about it, 45 summers left, that really isn't a lot of time. So this summer, I had one goal and that goal was just to be happy. So here's a realistic week of my life, making the most out of every day and every month. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. This week is so, so hot. I think it's gonna be the hottest it's ever gonna be all summer long, but I low key love it because the sun doesn't set until 10 p.m. every day. Anyways, I have around 30 minutes to make something to eat before a meeting, so let's get cooking. Growing up in Taiwan where it was 38 degrees every summer, one thing that always cooled me down was creamy sesame noodles. It's easy to make and you can really customize it with anything you have in the fridge. Plus it only takes 20 minutes to make. In a bowl add in sesame paste, peanut butter, hot water and mix until a creamy consistency like this. Season with soy sauce, black vinegar and my secret ingredient, grounded roasted sesame seeds. This will add an amazing nutty flavor. If you like it spicy, you can also add in chili oil. And and that's it. Now all you have to do is cook up your noodles, let it rest in ice cold water, and top with anything you like. I'm adding in cucumbers, carrots, leftover shredded chicken, and roasted peanuts. Now drizzle on the sauce, and just like that, lunch is served. Mm. You guys need to try this recipe. It's so easy too. It's spicy, it's creamy, it's savory, and it's really nutty from less roasted sesame seeds and peanut butter. So it pairs really perfectly together. Normally I have to eat it with some shredded eggs, but I didn't have time today, so I just used shredded chicken that I had last night. But it tastes really good together. Anyways, I'm gonna finish lunch and I'll see you guys at dinner. It's currently 3 a.m. and Dom woke up extremely dehydrated. So let's make some hoche. I'm just kidding. I've been seeing hoche all over my free page and I've been dying to try it. So let's make it together. First, we're gonna add in some watermelon. Next up, I got some blueberries, dragon fruit, blackberries. Of course, we gotta add in some strawberries. Look at these jellies. We're gonna add in a lot of ice. Strawberry milk. Am I the only one who thought strawberry milk was pink? <laughs> Sprite for the nice fizz. Moment of truth. Mmm, it's actually really refreshing. I'm gonna look at more ice. I think we need more ice. Mmm, okay. The spray adds like a nice fizz to it. It's pretty mm. refreshing, right? Oh, that's actually good. It's really good. Watch hey. Okay, mm. we're gonna finish this massive bowl of hoche and I'll see you guys at dinner. Bye.
I've been obsessed with pomegranate juice lately. So, so refreshing. Also, can you believe it's currently 8 p.m.? It's still so bright outside. I love summer. For dinner, I defrosted some shrimp before I went to class, so I'm thinking we're gonna make shan cao dan, kong xing cai, and some rice. So let's get cooking. I always have people asking me, where do you get the motivation to cook at home? Well, to me, home cooking truly has a special place in my heart. When I cook, I get to experience with the flavors, try new recipes, and recreate dishes that reminds me of happy memories. And the best of all, I get to cook for the people that I love. Home cooking turns ordinary ingredients into something extraordinary, like this simple shrimp and egg stir fry, hua dan sha lin, that I grew up eating once a week. And I never knew it had such a special place in my heart until I moved out and started missing home cooking. So here's my mom's recipe recipe so we can all make it together. Pan fry the shrimp until it's 80% cooked, remove and set aside. Next in the same pan, drizzle in the egg mixture and let it set for around 30 seconds. Turn the heat to low and gently scramble everything together. You want the eggs to be soft and silky, so be gentle. Once the egg is 70% cooked, add in the shrimp and keep gently folding until everything is fully cooked. For a veggie, I'm making simple water spinach with garlic stir fry. The key is to separate the stems and the leaves. I blanch the stem in hot water for around 2-3 to three minutes remove and set aside. Next in a pan, add in lots of garlic, add in around 10 cloves of garlic, and saute for 1-2 minutes. Then, add in the leaves. Saute for 2-3 minutes, then add in the blanched stems. And just like that, dinner is ready. Kaidong! This is one of my favorites. Mm. Is it good? Mmm, the egg is so tender. It's so good. This meal reminds me of my childhood. One of the things I promised myself this summer is to not let my body insecurities get in my way of happiness. I'm sure we all heard the term, get your body looking summer ready. Well, not anymore. Because working out isn't just about looking good, it's about feeling incredible. When I work out, it boosts my mood, energy levels, and overall well-being. It's about self-care, it's about finding strength, it's about empowerment by just moving your body. It's about embracing that amazing feeling of being strong, energized, and ready to conquer the day. It's about feeling good, from the inside out. Hi guys, happy Thursday. It is so so hot outside today and I am craving spicy cold noodles. I don't know if it's just me, but I specifically love spicy cold noodles on a hot day. It is so refreshing and so satisfying. I got fresh kimchi from Asi Market, so let's get cooking. In a bowl, add in kimchi and using your scissor, cut it into small pieces. Next, add in Korean red chili paste, any sweetener of your choice, sesame oil, sesame seeds, and mix everything together. Now all you have to do is cook up your noodles and rinse it in cold water. Pour in your noodles and mix everything together. Is this not the easiest summer noodle recipe? <sighs> okay, I have to do a quick taste test. Mm. Oh. One more bite. Mm. Now let's go make the pork belly. This looks unreal. Oh my goodness. Time to dig in. I have crispy pork belly here. 
the spicy noodles here. I added a hard boiled egg, extra cucumber, some perel leaf, and then I also had daikon kimchi. So let's dig in. Oh, and of course, pomegranate juice. <gasps> Perfect combo, right here. For dinner, Dom was craving beef gyudon, which is one of my favorite recipes to make whenever I want something quick and easy. So let's make it together. In a pot, add an onion, soy sauce, sake, mirin, and dashi stock. Let the onion simmer for at least 5 minutes or until translucent. In the meantime, boil some dashi stock and add in cabbage, mushroom, fish cake, and miso paste. Simmer for 5-10 to 10 minutes and the soup is ready. Once the onion is translucent, add in the beef and cook for another 3-5 to five minutes. And just like that, dinner is ready. So good. What? Yeah. I wasn't sure, but I just like threw random stuff together. Munching mm -hmm. Hi guys, happy Friday. Friday is definitely my favorite day of the week. Also, that yoga class was so relaxing. I think I might start doing that class every Friday moving forward. They also have different classes, so I might try some of those too. I think they have hot yoga, aerial yoga, a bunch of different options. Anyways, I know we had cold noodles, two days in a row. However, I am craving something savory and refreshing because it is so, so hot today. I'm thinking of making a Kokoro inspired garlic noodle with like a fried egg baby. Anyways, let's get cooking. Okay, so for the noodles, I think we're gonna do hand cut noodles because I think the meat sauce will really get caught in between all the edges, soaking it all up, making it extra yummy. Look at that. This looks so good. This took only 20 minutes or so, and I think it's gonna taste delicious. I had a little bit of the meat already, and it was so good. Let's dig in. Let's break the egg yolk together, the best part. Okay, mm. mm. first bite. Ooh. Mm. This is so yummy. For first recipe test, 
This is delicious. I think next time I want to add in crispy fried shallots to give it a nice crunch. The meat is like a perfect balance of sweet and savory and also has a little bit of spiciness to it. Anyways, I'm going to clean up this mess, bring this down to edit while I work, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Panther's new obsession, getting massaged with an ice cube. I am supposed to be the one you can trust. I feel so useless cause I let you down. I hope there's some way I can make it alright. Cause I know that you deserve much more than this. If you Hey guys, it's currently 4 p.m. and we have around an hour and a half before I go to my sister's for her pizza dinner party. I figured I'd bring a pasta salad so it's nice and refreshing and some fruits. The basil today at the grocery stores were beautiful so I think I'm gonna be making a basil pasta salad. However, I don't have any pine nuts but I do have roasted sesame seeds. So I'm gonna test it out and I think it will still taste really yummy because it's nice and nutty and it's nice and toasty. So I'll keep you guys updated on how that tastes. Is it just me or does anyone else crave vegetables in the summer? I swear vegetables are crunchier, sweeter, and just taste so much better. And this is coming from someone who does not love salads. Seeing all the fresh produce at the grocery store got me so excited to run home and make this delicious pasta salad. If you ever wonder how restaurants are able to get the beautiful, vibrant green pesto, the secret is an ice bath. Plunging the basil leaf in the ice bath helps maintain the vibrant green hue. It prevents the basil from turning brown and it only takes an extra five minutes, but I find it so worth it. I then toasted some sesame seeds to give it an extra nutty flavor. Blend basil, garlic, roasted sesame seeds, salt, olive oil, and Parmesan cheese. Is this an authentic recipe? No, but does it taste amazing? <laughs> yes. The best part about home cooking is about having fun in the kitchen. Cooking is an adventure, not a chore. Let loose, enjoy the process, don't stress about perfection. It is okay if you're swapping ingredients. Embrace the mess because you never know. You make it an unexpected one like this pesto pasta salad that I will definitely be making again. When the old one's gone on the night. Family is the number one thing I value the most in my life. Maybe it's because we've been through so much these past few years, but simple moments like this, sharing meals, goofing around, and just hanging out are moments that I cherish the most. Family time is about supporting each other through thick and thin, celebrating the good stuff, uplifting each other through the dark times, and just enjoying each other's company. I always say this, but if I can go back in time, I would tell my younger self to not worry so much about growing up and just live in the moment. Spend time with the people that you love. Preserve your energy for those that are worth it and do things that make you feel good and that includes eating this yummy homemade pizza and make the most out of every single day, every meal. Because now that I'm older, these moments are like little pockets of joy that I will cherish forever. It's Saturday, it's date night. Now we're gonna go get some Korean food. Let's go. Dom and I have date night at least once a week and we take turns planning it. So this week was my turn. And of course we gotta go get some Korean food. This was our first time at this restaurant even though we order takeout a few times here before. And wow, the food definitely tastes so much better in person. We got their spicy duck and soy marinated crabs. If you love seafood and never had raw soy marinated crabs, you are missing out. The savory sauce pairs so perfectly with the sweet and soft tender crab. The fresh raw crab gets soaked in the soy sauce and spices giving it a delicious umami kick with a bit of an ocean tang. I especially love it when it's paired with hot rice. Even editing this video right now, it got me hungry. I had a dream last night about soy marinated crab and now craving satisfied. 
Dom loved the spicy duck so, so, so much. This was actually our first time trying duck in Korean cuisine, and wow, the duck was super tender and it paired really perfectly with the spicy, savory sauce. This dish was definitely so addicting that Dom even ate two bowls of rice. Dom and I are so, so, so full from earlier. The su bing was delicious. It was really refreshing, but we are bloated. Um, I'm gonna continue reading my Emily Henry funny story. Hopefully I can give you guys a review on this soon, but if not, join my book club because we'll be discussing this book for the month um, and when we're gonna go for a walk. I was going to bring my own food to the theater. It starts around 10 p.m. and takes for us around 40 minutes to drive there, but we figured we would support the small businesses there so we are just gonna cut up some fruit and veggie to bring there for our healthy snacks but i will buy the rest of the dinner there anyways i'm gonna start reading and i'll see you guys in a bit date night for us is a chance to take a break from our busy schedule and just reconnect to be honest, we don't need fancy dinners or a night out, we just need to spend quality time together. For us, it's about laughing together, it's about sharing stories about our week, it's about remembering why we fell in love in the first place. Date night brings back the butterflies and reminds us that we're more than just partners, we are best friends. Watching a movie in the back of our car, enjoying the summer breeze and making these core memories for ourselves. Don't ever feel guilty about being happy, because being happy takes hard work and you deserve to have a happy summer. Go out and Enjoy the weather, spend time with the people that you love because this is your summer. Thank you so much for spending this week with me and I hope to see you again next week. Love you!